Okay, how is everyone doing? Uh, today's video is a little bit different. It's going to be an informative video uh, where I hope a few of you that don't know much about computers learn something new. I don't know what I just did there for the past three minutes. I was just karaoke mode. Okay, whatever. Let's just move on to the video. Before we begin this video, there's a lot of me repeating myself in this one. And that is just for the simple reason that I want to get the message across. I want to make sure that everybody understands and I want to make things as clear as possible. Me repeating myself has happened a lot in past videos and people have told me down in the comment section below so I just want to make sure that you know this time it is done on purpose um, it is literally just to get the message across to get it cemented in people's heads to make sure that they get the point that they remember that there's a reason we are doing this switch there's a reason that people are switching from hard drives to SSDs and that there's a reason they should be doing it as well so I hope it isn't too annoying and make sure to let me know how you switched down in the comments section below. So today we're talking about SSDs and hard drives. And I just want to kind of do a little bit of a teaching video because I feel like a lot of people aren't informed about this and don't know enough about this. And I'm taking that from the fact that a lot of people still seem to break their hard drives a lot. And I mean, sure, a lot of the times it's not actually their fault, but I feel like if enough people actually watch this video or get informed about this, a lot of less of that will be happening. Let us, uh, and I, I don't actually seem to have enough hard drives to just be going like this and showing them to you. So I will be showing visuals on the screen instead. So first of all, let's talk about what a hard drive is. A hard drive is literally what it is called. It is a spinning drive that is hard. It's not like a CD or a DVD, it's a metal disc spinning within the hard drive itself. Now, SSD is a solid state drive, meaning there is no spinning disc inside. It is literally a solid state. It stays in one state and that is it. It instead uses memory storage on top of the board itself. And that is why it is a lot, lot faster. How do we damage hard drives? Why are hard drives such a big problem nowadays, especially in laptops? Well, that is super, super simple. Now imagine this, let's say you have a hard drive inside your laptop. That hard drive is spinning at 35,000 RPM or maybe even more. Maybe I'm not getting the numbers right here. Anyway, it is spinning super, super fast. Now imagine now you move your laptop or you rotate it or you bump into something while the laptop is on. What happens to that drive? Well, the platter that is on top of the drive actually starts scratching them because the platter is reading things off the drive and the drive is still spinning while you are doing rap. I keep calling the drive head a platter. It's a drive head, not a platter. The platter is the disc. It movements bumping the drive into something. The platter digs into the drive and scratches it, therefore permanently damaging it and permanently killing sectors on that drive. Now, if you have an SSD in your laptop, that can't happen because an M.2 SSD or a solid state SATA SSD doesn't have any moving parts. So if you bump your laptop into something or if you're moving your laptop around, there is nothing spinning. Therefore, there's nothing to scratch or break if you bump into something. Now, that isn't to say that you should be bumping your laptop into things if you have a solid state drive inside. That's not what I'm saying. And there is still ways of damaging an SSD. SSDs can still get corrupted since they only have a limited amount of reading and writing they can do to sectors. Now, this does happen after an extremely long time, and normally I wouldn't really be worried about that. Other than that, of course, they can get damaged by water, which is probably their worst enemy. So I would say still definitely be very careful with your SSDs, but they're definitely a much better option in laptops. So what am I trying to say here? I'm trying to say that if any of you actually still have hard drives in your laptops or in your computers, do definitely think about changing. Because not only this, SSDs are obviously much faster. Because if you are using a hard drive, the platter needs to spin in order to be able to find the data you are looking for. While on an SSD, that is actually really, really fast. Like, to you, it could probably be instant. Of course, it's not actually instant, but it is really, really fast because there's nothing in an SSD that needs to spin. And therefore there's nothing in the SSD that needs to move in order to find your data. Therefore, everything is sent to the computer pretty much instantly at the drives read and write speeds, which are much, much faster than a hard drive. For example, here is the read and write speed of a hard drive. And then here is the read and write speed of an SSD. An extremely big difference, don't you think? The first time I got an SSD, I didn't think it was gonna be that much of a difference. But the first time you notice it is when your computer turns on. It goes from the circles at the bottom of the Windows logo loading and turning around to actually just 
showing the Windows loading screen, but not showing the circles and just booting straight into Windows. That is super, super fast, honestly. And that's with my M.2 Samsung Evo 970. And so that's kind of maybe a little bit overkill. Not everyone would be doing that. But with SATA SSDs, it is definitely somewhere around that as well. Of course, when you start loading things onto it, it is going to get slower and the dots will start appearing but you still get the speed of an SSD. When your computer turns on, you can instantly launch things like the Windows File Explorer and things like that. While if you have a hard drive, you might need to wait in order to be able to do that, which of course is not ideal. So this video is more of an information video than anything. What am I trying to teach people about here? Well, what I'm trying to show you is the inside of an SSD and the inside of a hard drive. Look at the hard drive. You can see the head that reads the platter inside the drive right here, I'm going to zoom in on it, and then you can see the drive itself. Some drives actually have multi-layer platters, and therefore can store more storage, but they are still limited by how fast the platters and how fast it can turn around to find your data. Inside the drive is also where those really cool neodymium magnets are, you won't be finding those in SSDs. Here is the inside of an SSD. Oh, and here is also an M.2 SSD. As you can see, no spinning parts, no mechanical parts, just plug and play, boom. And if you guys have ever actually picked up a drive when it is turned on, you can actually feel that drive spinning. So that's how you know that it is working. Now, if you were to pick up an SSD, you wouldn't feel any of that because there is no mechanical parts. What am I trying to get to happen here? Basically, I'm trying to show you guys that you shouldn't really be using hard drives anymore. What should hard drives be used for? Hard drives should be used for storing your secondary data. What do I mean by that? Things like games, things like music, video files, things like that. Things that you don't require to load fast and things that won't be read and written constantly because if they are read and written constantly, you're losing out on that speed you could be having, but if you had an SSD. Now, Windows should be put on an SSD, and then you should have secondary drives as hard drives. So just like me, for example, I have my 970 Evo inside my computer as my main boot SSD for Windows 10, and then I have two additional one terabyte Western Digital hard drives, which are not solid state. And that is what I keep all my files on, all my games on, etc. And this is a great way to actually find the midpoint of all of this, because hard drives are still much cheaper than SSDs, therefore you can get much more storage on them for less price, while also keeping your windows fast and snappy because you have a really nice fast SSD to put it on. And if you have a laptop that has a hard drive inside of it, it's a no-brainer. Honestly, I don't think you should even be using a hard drive inside a laptop in 2020 because knowing what I know now, knowing that even the slightest bump can damage a hard drive, and you can actually scan your drive with a free software called Victoria, and that will show you how many damaged, broken, or completely dead sectors you have. And if there is any, even one, I would recommend you switch to an SSD right now. Sure, you'll pay a premium, but hey, look, at least you'll have something that will keep working for an extremely long time, and you will definitely definitely see a difference. And anybody that has made that change in the past in the comment section below will agree with me. I'm sure you will. Let me know your story of how you switched to an SSD down in the comment section below. But yes, if you have a laptop that has a hard drive inside, I would definitely recommend Switch. Go to a computer repair shop, ask them to switch it for you. You can actually clone drives now, meaning you get to keep all your data from your old hard drive and just clone it straight onto the SSD. Of course, if it's not damaged too much or do it yourself if you feel comfortable doing that. But really in 2020, you shouldn't have a laptop that doesn't have a solid state drive inside because of how much people move laptops around. Of course, they are portable. They do fall from time to time. They do get hit and all that damages the drive. So I would definitely recommend Switch because it's not very good and it will keep slowing down and you will notice a massive difference if you put in an SSD. So you guys, that was this video. This video was kind of more just an information video than anything. I believe we're doing the meetup today in VR chat. I'm going to have to contact you guys on Discord for that. I think that is going ahead, but I will uh, let you know on the Discord. Uh, if you guys like this video, make sure to give it a like. If you disliked it, I guess this button works too. But please tell me why down in the comment section below. If you guys are not yet part of this community, make sure to follow me on my social media here and here. Join us on Discord down in the description below. Join us on Reddit as well, where I want to see my face getting memed to hell. If you guys want to be notified of future videos, I upload tech videos daily and VR videos on Mondays and Fridays. So if that floats your boat, make sure to smack that subscribe button with your forehead, ding my bell, and see you again in the next one. Peace.